What is going on everybody? It's your boy David Got Kicks and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a crock print tutorial. You guys probably have seen my custom Tiffany tutorial and I show a little bit of crock print there. But this is a more in-depth tutorial, specifically just crock print. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this crocking. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get started, the materials we're going to be needing today for this tutorial include a piece of paper, something to write with. David, 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 wait, David, David. Bro, are you serious? David, wait, Can it wait? wait Can't stop, you see David, him in the middle of a video? What's up then, fool? Can your question. question wait? Maybe wait till you get to the David, comment wait, section? Wait, oh, all right, stop, never mind, never David, mind. You know what? Question. What's your question? You said have something to write with. What about a Sharpie? Will that work? I should have been more specific. I would recommend using a pencil, a pen, or a thin point sharpie for this tutorial. Oh, okay, I get it now. So I won't be needing this. Thank you, David. You're the man. Love your vids, by the way. Keep it up. And our handy dandy wood burner or soldering iron. Oreo? Quitase! You can do this crock print method on almost any type of shoes, such as Nike Dunks, Nike Cortez, Roshi Runs, okay maybe not Roshi Runs, some Nike Chanclas, sandals, and pretty much any other shoe as long as the uppers are leather and a hard type of plastic or material. Before we get our hands on on making the crock print, we have to practice doing the crock print first. We gotta visualize it, we gotta be the crock print. You see how each texture for crock print is different. And then there's this one, look at the white outlines pretty much. We're gonna be doing the white outlines, okay? They kind of look like teeth. We're gonna be doing teeth. Forget the crock print, we're gonna be doing teeth. Okay, once you kind of have an idea, now get out your paper and pencil or Sharpie, thin Sharpie. So I won't be needing this. When I first started doing this, I was doing squares. I was straight up just, this is what I was doing for my crock print. I mean, and that's fine. To everyone, it's different. You know, if you want to do it like this, fine. But this is how I like to do mine. So just like little, they're like squares without corners. All right, now once you guys have finished tracing on the paper, get out your shoe, because we got to trace it on the shoe. If we just start burning into the shoe right away, we might mess up, and it might not come out the way we want it to. So get out your pencil again, and let's start tracing that print on. So for some reason, the video deleted my other part where I was tracing, so now I got to start over. I'm going to do it on this side, even though I kind of already started burning. This was like a few test burns, but I'm going to start doing it on here. When you want to trace on the shoe, it's pretty much the same method as you... When you were doing on the paper. It doesn't need to be perfect when you guys are tracing it. When you carve it, it's gonna turn out fine. All right, but this is just to give you guys a little idea of what, you know, some cross print will look like when you guys are carving it. Like I mentioned earlier, I originally recorded me doing the other side of when I was tracing the lines, but for some reason the video got deleted, so I had to do it on this side. But what you're gonna see right now is gonna be the clip of me carving the shoe on the other side, which is this. When you guys are finished and feel like you've traced all the crock print that you want, let's go ahead and get out that wood burner slash soldering iron. Yeah. Once you guys get it out, go ahead and plug it in one time. These are electrical, so they need to heat up in order for it to work. This is very, 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 very hot. All right, now once you get it plugged in, let it heat up for about five minutes, and then it should be ready to work. I would recommend using the one that's already on. Personally, it works the best for carving the little squares because it has a fine point and it starts to get a little wider. I will make sure to link the best, most affordable soldering iron slash wood burner for you guys. This one right here is a weller and it works well. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do this one square at a time. You're not gonna go straight through it. You just trace your lines. Be careful while you're doing this. You don't want to hold the wood burner too long in one place because then it's just going to create a hole.
don't worry about these burn marks because you're eventually just gonna paint over them to whatever color you want. Try the crock print out on some Cortez. This shoe right here is actually my first time ever doing crock print on a shoe. As you can see, it was not the best job. I did this crock print a day before the actual Diamond Tiffany Highs released and I thought they were pretty good at the time. Then I realized it wasn't really that good. See, we all gotta start somewhere. This is what I did at first. You can see the lines. They're pretty deep because I used a different tip and I do not recommend that one. It's like the X-Acto knife tip one and I thought that was the best one but it wasn't like the lines it doesn't even look like crock print at all like how why did I even do this I don't even understand why but anyways I hope you guys don't make the same mistake I did I hope this video helped you guys a lot if you guys like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for your boy if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so hit that red button on the bottom right corner feel free to stay updated with me and follow me on Instagram at David Guy kicks leave your questions or comments down below and i will do my best to go and reply to you guys but until next time david got kicks is out peace out guys it don't make sense it's been a while they wonder where you've been i've been locked up in that basement i was 16 with a mixtape now i'm 19 with a mixtape trying to be 21 with a million dollars like praise the lord hallelujah